Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to color eyes in my easy peasy way. Let's get on with the tutorial. For the tutorial's sake, I already have an eye. First thing I'm going to do is just lay down uh, a base skin tone color in the sclera and i use pure white yes i use pure white um cope i say that because artists are commonly taught to not use pure whites or blacks but i always do that <laughs> it's my personal taste okie dokie so we've got all, got all the base colors out laid down for us to now start shading First thing I'm going to do is come to the iris, select it, and uh, usually, because I mess around with colors later anyway, um, I'm going to go into a multiply layer, go into my blending brush, because it's just a nice soft airbrush, and oopsie, I forgot. Set it as a clipping layer, I forgot to mention. Okay, and we're just going to do this to the top of the eye, like so. I think I'm going to make this a little darker once again and a little less saturated. Next things first, I'm going to now do an add layer and do the same thing just near the bottom of the iris. Like so, obviously it's very uh, bright so we're going to make it a little lighter so it's not, you know, just assaulting our eyes with brightness. Okay, so I'm gonna go up to adjustments and then to half tone, light it to I see fit. I think this is good. I'm going to move on to shading the eyeball. <laughs> this is kind of unusual for me, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go above all the layers and select a tone that I'd like to shade with. I'm just gonna go with a blue. Go under here like so like so next we're gonna just change that to multiply and as you can see you have a very easy peasy shadow um and sometimes i blend it out a bit but sometimes i just leave it like that because i like how uh, harsh it is i'm going to make it a little lower down so now we're going to move on to the flesh surrounding the eye. We're gonna go to the skin layer and do a clipping mask. We're going to do multiply. Don't worry, we will fix if the color is not good later. See how I have these portions already shaded out, so we're going to color those in. And Next, I'm going to start blending it out just by doing this. Only the outer edges, you need to have some definite lines. Yippee! Okay, so now to the upper eyelid as well. Also, I'm going to add some here. Because I chose to add the little, I chose to add the inner corner for whatever reason. A little more blending doesn't hurt. <laughs> That's your first layer to the um to your shading of the skin. Next part is to add another layer, another clipping mask, and change it to multiply. Now I'm just gonna darken up certain areas, um such as right here and just draw, draw it out a bit, just painting over your line art. Some to the outer corner, blend it, and do the same for the lower portion of the eye. Some darkness, blend it out, like that. Here I'm gonna uh, like create a little um, skin flap, so just by doing like a lasso shape and then getting my blending tool and just blending that out. Okay, so now we're going to 
uh, do some more darkness. <laughs> Keep it on the normal layer. And then I'm gonna go to and select a very dark shade. I'll make it a little red, probably. Whatever you fancy. Whatever eyeshadow you fancy. Or you can just leave it like this for the darkness. Um, or even go lighter with it. And now I'm going to paint this on. Obviously, I'm going to have to change the color because it's a little not right. Love my descriptive words. Okay, so it looks a little crazy right now, but that's okay. So we're going to now blend it. Okay, so now I'm going to play around with that color a bit and to where I see fit. Now we're gonna do some of the highlights and lighter parts of the eye. Okay, so for the waterline, I'm gonna end the in the corner. I'm gonna go in with the light peachy color. Okay, like that. Now I'm going to do the highlight layer. So I'm gonna do a new layer and to select the skin tone and do another add layer. Go in very light and slightly in the shape of the eye. And there's, as you can see, there's a slight bend. You know, it's not just like this. It's moving organically with the eye. So like this. And if you want a more subtle shine, you can leave it like that. But I, I usually go for something more extreme. So I'm gonna reduce my brush size and then go in again. And now I'm going to go more heavy-handed and then you have a little shine here and across like so Add some highlight to the inner portion here just a tiny bit and then blend it out like this and then blend that out Add some highlights like that and just blend it a bit. Yeah, that's about it for the eyes. Going to move on to the finishing touches. I'm going to go above all my layers and do a new layer, then go to pure white. Um, and I'm going to find a place where the where it looks normal <laughs> and even if you want to go a little crazy you can even uh blend it out and freaking erase like this whoa cray cray but for this i'm gonna keep it simple i like to bring this like that and then uh same for this side actually um i'm going to I don't really like this highlight, so I'm going to mess around until I can find one that suits it in my eyes. I don't do, do none of that fancy smancy, you know, where's the light source? Um, I just do what looks cool. <laughs> I'm going to leave it like this. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate that layer and now do gauzy and blur and Make it like so. It might reduce it a little. Another thing I like to do is I like to make a new layer, select the color of the eye, and I'm going to just kind of, I'm going to edit the color later, don't worry. Blend it like around, kind of makes it look glowy. So I'm going to go to an add, make it an add layer, and turn it down a bit so it's not as severe and as you can see it, it makes it look nice and glowy and cool <laughs> there you go there is there is an eye coloring tutorial but yeah that's how i color in my eyes 
I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it can be helpful for you. But I hope you all have a wonderful day, night, morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you may be in this universe today. And I hope this tutorial was helpful for you. And if you like these tutorials, um, consider subscribing. That would be very kind of you, please. Um, and yeah, that's about all for today. I shall see you next time, wherever that may be. And see you later, alligators.